Here we have a brand new RC car that you can't buy anymore. This is the Armour Fury. So you've not been able to get this RC car now for the past few years, but I found somewhere where you can. And that place is Banggood. So if you want to know where you can get one from and you want to know the techno babble and all that stuff, there's going to be a link to that down below. And as far as I know, they don't make them anymore. So get in there before they're gone. And this is ready to run, waterproof, and it's brushed. All right, that's enough bleeding waffling. Let's crack it open. Subscribe. Check it out. What do you reckon, guys? Check out the suspension. So this car is a two-wheel drive platform. There you can see the brushed motor. If you don't know what brushed and brushless means, it basically means there's brushes inside. And the more modern motors that are brushless have loads more power. And it's still supposed to do 30 miles an hour, but here they reckon that the optional gearing on the brushless one will do 67.1 mile an hour. Hmm. Now it's made almost entirely out of plastic, which I think is a good thing because it keeps weight down, it keeps price down, and also it can be stronger because plastic, it can bend and then it can bend back. Often when something is made out of metal, it can bend and then it stays bent. And if we have a look at some of the strongest RC cars that I have, most of them have plastic chassis. Now this Armour Creighton 6S comes with a metal chassis and the stock chassis, they bend really easily. So this one here has an M2C chassis made out of 70, 75 aluminium and that, that is crazy strong. So both can be strong. They're strong metal cars, they're strong plastic cars, but when you're keeping the cost down, it's easier to make a car strong when it's made out of plastic. So this comes with the old school tactic radio, which is actually a really good radio that all of the armor cars used to come with. Nowadays they come with this Spectrum STX2 and these suck. This car also comes with a 2S LiPo and a LiPo charger and I'm pretty sure this is not armor. I think Banggood uh, actually included that into the car. So the only thing that you need to supply yourself is four AA batteries for the controller. And then looking at the instructions it says 3S LiPo ready, 2S or 3S LiPo required. So that means that this originally would not have come with a LiPo. So um, this is a two cell LiPo, I can tell here because of the wires. So we're gonna run it on that battery and then we're gonna run it on a three cell LiPo as well. And one thing I quite like about this is the battery goes in from underneath. So you could change the battery without having to take the body off every time. All right, so battery in, radio on, car on. So steering, yep, plenty of speed and power. So we're going to give it a quick blast on the two cell LiPo, give it a speed run, and then we're going to put in the three cell LiPo. Here we go, 2S LiPo. To the moon! <laughs> Cyclones! Alright, so first we're going to be doing a speed run on the supplied two cell LiPo. There we go, zero mile an hour. I've got Stemp in the house there, making sure that we're not cheating. <laughs> Kill a stamp. How fast do you reckon that is? Uh, 25. Stamp making 25. I'm going to go with 15. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, 19. So now we're going to put the free cell lipo on there. What do you reckon it's going to do on that one? 25. 25. Right, I'm going to go with 30. All right, there we go. Free cell in. Oh, whoa, that makes a massive difference. Right, here we go. Flat out. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, 27. Go. Oh. Give it a rip, Stemster. Nail it. Oh, we got donuts. <laughs> look at him. He's having fun. He's sporting his new haircut. Let's have a look at that hairstyle. Look at it. He's trying this to grow is, it all out. This is a lockdown haircut, mate. Stem's got a lockdown haircut. Doesn't roll over, does it? Yeah. See if you can drift it. <laughs> Do you know what? That free cell lipo's transformed it. Oh, something smells warm though. Bring it in, you don't want to kill it, so I've got to take it to a skate park before we kill it. Let's have a little waft in there. Oh. Yeah, it is that. Alright, I think we better let it cool down. 3S might be a bit much. What are you saying? That's not compatible then. Well, it worked, didn't it? But <laughs> I don't know how long for. It does smell a bit toasty, but it's not that hot. Anyway, we're going to get it over to a next bash location 
And then we'll figure out how long it lasts. What are you doing, Stem? Oh, Christ. What's all that, Kev? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I'm a it's, tough baby. It's just rubbing on that. Ah! <laughs> trying to give Arm a bad name. Get Nothing one. wrong with it. I was going to say, last time I took it, it was perfect. Can it make it across? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All of us fighting to get footage on the same mound. <laughs> oh, Stephen's going. Oh. <laughs> I'm not very good with two wheel drive. Steve, you're a two wheel drive expert. Oh, I can play with one, yeah. See if you can jump it. Put that down there. I'll have a go. I might. I can't guarantee I'll land it. I'll try and land it. Well, I guarantee it'll hit the floor, but. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Did that parachute? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's starting to smell. Have a smell in there, Steve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's far off smoke, you know. The bearings are nice. That needs one of those cheap Gould RCs, doesn't it? I think so, yeah. Something like that. Oh, you could ridiculous it and use one of the ESCs I put in my um, Rustler. Oh, dear. What, 6S? Yeah. Mm. Guys, give us a note in the comments. What should we put in it? Well, if you put it on six sets, you don't have to run it on six, but yeah, it gives yeah. you an option. Should we send it through the bowl? Yes. Ah, oh, tumble wumble. Footage incoming. Donut. Ah, oh, we got a bully in the house. Come on, Pat. That's it. <laughs> Footage. Quid. That's the highest it's ever been. Steve's trying to kill it on purpose. Go on, Stephen, that's your challenge. Melt the ESC. Actually, no, we've got to save it for the skate park. Oh, that smells really hot. I'm not surprised, it's flat out donut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we'll save it and we're going to get it onto the skate park. Yeah, it was nice and balanced, though, because I just let go of the steering and it carried on. Mm. All right, new location. Got Pat having a little go with a Mini Max over there. We've already killed the crate and this one here landed on the back end and smashed it all off. So that's a different video. We took this one out and this one actually broke on the rear as well. Still got the rust as we go. Uh, oh, this thing here got a little bit annihilated. So that's in a different video. You're going to have to click somewhere to see that. But anyway, we're going to carry on with the Armour Fury and to see how it handles the skate park. It does parachute a lot. I tell you what guys, all in all, really happy with this car. I like the way that the battery goes in underneath because it means you can change the batteries over without taking off the body shell. Now we was running this most of the time on the free cell LiPo and it did make it get a little bit warm and the motor did smell quite toasty. So it probably is not gonna last that long on free cell LiPo. But I wanna upgrade this. Uh, as I said earlier, I wanna get a brushless system for it. I'm not really a great big fan of two wheel drive, but this actually seems to take it pretty well. So we're probably gonna put a Gould RC in there or something. Anyway, waffle, waffle, waffle. I will see you over there in one of these videos over here in a sec. Oh, and link to where you can buy it down below.